Goki was launched in 2014. We are about two years old. Uh, we launched in India first and we are now about to launch in the US. Our plans are also to come to China in 2017. Goki is a Uber for health and fitness where we connect your health and fitness data from wearables to fitness coaches who are ready to help you to get fit. So Goki is a fitness ecosystem. People can connect their various fitness devices like Fitbit, Jawbone, Apple Watch, Misfit. They can then use this data to choose their fitness goals and accordingly connect with a coach. These coaches are assisted by experts who are going to help you get fit. But most important part of Goki is gamification with karma points. That is, as you walk, we give you one karma point and this karma point can be used to donate for charity. We wanted to choose the best investors and we know China is a big market and we would need a strong local player, which is why we decided to partner with Cheetah Mobile, who is very, very well known in China and understands the market. So they invested in us. There is so much innovation in China. We used to, in the past, often think that Chinese companies are just copying American companies and apps. But what we are seeing here is what is being built here is highly incremental. The features on WeChat, what Baidu has done, what Alibaba is doing, what Tencent is doing, is not copying any of the Western models anymore. They are building very unique services at huge amount of scale. And in the past, I used to make a lot of trips to Silicon Valley. But today, I don't find any use going to Silicon Valley. In fact, I think if you want to see innovation, you need to be in Beijing and at Jimic because you are able to see everything under one roof. In an app economy where the innovations are in the hundreds and the thousands, I would say that more innovation is happening on the software ecosystem, which combines the hardware ecosystem. Because you are seeing hardware companies here too. We saw robotics companies, we saw VR companies, we saw companies who are doing the electric bikes uh, and all of that. So I'm saying the hardware and software is getting merged and it is no longer different. How are people using the data? In the US, we are seeing that a lot of people are self-motivated and there is a culture of do it yourself. But in India and China, the do-it-yourself culture does not exist. People need assistance. There are, you know, we are used to services which are there for a lot of things. So I would say culturally, we have seen India and China adopting much faster to services, while US is slowly getting used to the service economy and the service model. Uh, which is where the whole question of AI and human-assisted AI comes in. So AI is going to be exciting, but in countries like India and China, where there are so many people, it is not just about AI. It's how can you make people more efficient and more smarter with the use of AI. Uh, I don't look at localization as just changing the languages and changing you know, the name and other design. I would call it culturalization. So your app doesn't need to become localized. It needs to be adopting the local culture.